What up, people? It's Wednesday. You know what that time is. It's Say It Out Loud Sportscast. We're back. It's Super Bowl week. It's our Super Bowl edition. We got a big show. It's going to be Let's good. Let's go. We got Super Bowl prop bets. We got our top Super Bowl snacks. I know everybody's excited oh, for that. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, baby. We got King James versus Daddy Carlos to talk about. That'll be towards the end of the show. That's his name? Daddy Carlos? I thought it was Vin Gasoline, dude. Vin Gasoline? Wish version Vin app. Gasoline. The wish version of Vin Some, Diesel. We got. We'll talk a little. If we get time, we'll talk a little UFC this weekend. There's a fight night on Saturday. Uh, bare knuckle on Friday night. Uh, big stuff happening. We got riots coming back. The champion of the regular season, father and son, pick him. We'll get his picks on the Super Bowl. Vespers joining the show. Um, joining me as usual, we got Daddy Bob and Daddy Pete. I'm Daddy yeah, Pat. Hey, we're here, baby. And, uh, you know, Daddy Carlos giving us some content. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first thing before we get to our Super Bowl picks, uh, actually, first thing I want to do a shout out to OffTheBallNetwork.com. It's the network I joined. I'm doing UFC articles for them. Go check them out. Um, they're giving me a platform to write on UFC and give That's out big picks. Time. That's, That's cool. Big time. That's awesome. So we're I've only done three so far, but we're in the green now. The last card, yeah. we want some money. Um, I got another one that just went up yesterday for this week's card and the next week's Usman. And then they they're bringing me on like the sh- the we got Super Bowl week over there. Check them out; they got live shows at nice. Super Bowl. They yeah, got that's lit. That's Are they going? Out? They're going to be no, out there? no. They're doing live shows all week. They do live in Facebook live, live, and they got um, okay. tons of. There's ten to fifteen guys on there. I think I'm just throwing out there, but guys, we've had Stephen was on here NBA. Oh yeah. Uh, Chris LeBron is like the president. They got a lot of good guys over there, so go That's check cool, them out. Man. Guy's got a cool name. And we'll just keep going. Yeah, you love LeBron. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but shout cool out name. to them. Shout off, out Chris LeBron, baby. Offtheballnetwork.com, so go give them a shout. All right, before we get to our Super Bowl picks, we got to talk about the other story in the NFL. Real quick, I want to hear what you guys think about this whole Matt Stafford, Matt Stafford and Jared Goff trade. I like it. For who? Who won the trade? I think the Rams won the trade, honestly, because they get out of Goff's terrible contract. Okay, point, and, one, one point. There. And I think they had to give up. The, everybody's freaking out. They gave up two first-rounders. I think the second first-rounder in this deal is for Detroit to take on Goff's contract. That was, okay. They had to put that in there All right, to get out of it. And, and now let's go back, though. If you think about it, the Rams traded two firsts and two seconds to move up to draft Goff. Total, they gave up nine picks for Jared Goff. They got six. They gave up six to get him and three to get rid of him. Something like that. That's, yeah. that's an absolute – that's a mistake. I mean, they did get to a Super Bowl with them. They didn't win, though. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, they well, did. There's only one winner per year, right. and most of the time it's Tom Brady. Right. Well, 50% of the time, yeah. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> what's, what, what do you think? What's uh, Deshaun Watson worth now? No, oh, he's not – he's not going to get he, – He's going to sit out. That's my first question. He sitting they're gonna, he's sitting out this season. 100%. No, I mean, if they're if, willing to give up that much – I don't For think a I don't think it translates that Stafford, way. Stafford, what's Deshaun Watson I don't worth? Th- I don't think that's it, my first question. I don't think it translates over that way though, because the second rounder is for taking on Goff's contract. Third, they got two firsts and a third. Right, I'm just saying this, or the first, the second first rounder oh, okay. is for them to take on Goff's contract, or it would have been a first and a third. You know what I mean? So I don't. Think, I don't think, so you it think changes. the Rams won that. I think the Rams won the deal because I think Stafford's an upgrade from Goff. I think it's shown Goff basically looked like Sam Bradford the last. Two seasons. Well, we talked about. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I mean, I, th- I think Stafford's an upgrade. I think Stafford a change of scenery sure. will help Stafford, kind of like it did Tannehill. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of just a, a rhythm in Detroit to just show up, get the hopes up, and suck. And it's just like every year they do the same thing there. I think a change of scenery is going to help Stafford. I think he's going to get out. He's going to be in L.A. It's live out there. You know what I mean? It's a whole. You think Goff has a bad season? Jared Goff. Yeah. I heard he's already living in the trailer park in Eight Mile. <laughs> him and Eminem, yeah, it. dude. Oh lord! Could you imagine going so from Hollywood Hollywood Hills to Detroit? I don't know. I think it's good for golf. I think I, I think yeah. the pressure in L.A. gets to him. The big, big bright lights. I don't know if that's necessarily his thing. I think after the Super Bowl, kind of shows everybody's attention was on them. How right bad? The yeah. How bad is he going to be in Detroit? I don't think it's I. So I'm I'm the opposite. I think it's the trade. I think. The Rams won as of right now. I think the Rams won the trade slightly. I think they upgraded, but the only way they did. I they think did. they gave up too much, though. I, don't I know. think the only think way they don't use their picks anyway. No, the only way they True. win. If you're the, always contending, then long term, the only way they won this trade is if they win a get at least get to. You have to get to the Super Bowl and win in the Super Bowl. Otherwise, what's the point? Well, I mean, it, it, that's for every team making moves. No, the point is to get to the Super Bowl. So here's my thought. I was looking at this. So long term, I think the Rams, if they went, obviously they're doing what they think 
they have to do, and which most people think they have to do, to win the Super Bowl. That's they believe they're a quarterback away. The Rams is, is the difference that's between. Why, that's the only reason why you make that trade. That's it. He's our, they're paying. They're eating contract. They're still paying golf, but the right. Um, they believe they're a quarterback away. But here's the thing. McV- I, so McVeigh. It's hard to say they're not. Listen to this. Is McVeigh yeah. was like getting we, a pass? Is he getting a pass? Yeah. For is it is all the, is the blame falling on golf? So when he came into the league, he decided that he was getting all the he was credit. A guru. Well, he's this offensive genius. Genius. He He gets him to the Super Bowl. He gets all the credit for designing a playbook and a scheme around Around Jared Goff, and it exploded. They were number one offense, number two offense. Well, they went and got Goff. Hold on. No, McVay came in. Goff was 0-7 his rookie year. McVay came in, then they exploded. McVay had the number one and number two ranked offense in the league. The last two years, it was 11 and then 22. But now, all the blame shifted from all the credit from McVay. Offensive guru, the next yeah. big thing. To all the blame. Now it's Goff can't run the system. It's the same system. Yeah, but he's, he's, I, he's struggling. He's goat. The personnel changed immensely. Gurley left. The play action, gone. The threat of the play action is gone. Teams have film on McVay and Goff. Obviously, Goff is limited. I don't think Goff is better than Stafford. But the film on Goff is there. Is there. And McVay, for but that he's matter. A, I, don't, I don't think Jared Goff's better now than he was two years ago. He hasn't got any better. No, I don't think he looked good in the playoffs. He's like Mark. He's, he's like Mark Sanchez. Quarter, he's not that type of quarterback. I think you need the personnel around Goff to so he can succeed. Detroit's going to be rough. It's but I don't think the I don't think the Rams. Detroit's a disaster anyway. But look at the Rams personnel. You think Cooper Cooper Cup was hurt most of last year? He missed the playoff game. Also, Robert Woods and Cooper Cup both are not deep threats. They don't have a guy to that go can down. extend the field. So the defense over the last couple of years has been able to creep forward and creep forward Just and there's no it, give them everything threat. underneath yeah there's no deep threat at first they they didn't know what was happening because there's so much motion in that offense mcveigh first couple years no one could solve it now it's solved and now what you they can mcveigh didn't adapt either uh, mcveigh and golf both didn't adapt i don't think it's entirely on golf and that's where no. i think i mean he's gonna get the blame Stafford need the okay, so that's the other and thing. And it's going to work out because he's going to go to Detroit and he's going to suck. And the relationship kind of he's going to go play for a yeah. defensive I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's going to suck. I, what do you mean he's going to play for Dan Campbell, the defensive minded head coach that doesn't work in the NFL anymore? I don't care what anybody says. If you want to succeed as a coach in the NFL, you have to be offensive minded. Defenses are the whole game is geared towards helping offenses yeah. to score points. I get that. So hiring a defensive minded head coach, that's you're not, already at a disadvantage. I don't think Goff's going to be the problem in Detroit. I think the defense is probably going to. If they fix the defense, I think he can be all right. That division's not loaded. I don't think the Vikings are that good. Back to the Rams. If they don't win a Super Bowl, if they, don't, they have Lions to win, win the Super Bowl, I think, or bust. They have to get at least get be in the Super. They got to win a Super Bowl. That team is number one defense, number two defense in the league. They got to win a Super Bowl. No, they, they think they Matt Stafford two, puts them over the over the top. If he doesn't, Lions win the trade. So we'll know in a couple of years. I don't think the Rams are done though. Matt Stafford's they mortgage he needs the a future. Deep threat. The other, they they have to get a deep threat. That, that's they need Will Fuller. Yeah. Do they have money? I don't think. They, I mean, they save they a little have, bit. They've. I think they're eighth or ninth in. If cap they room. go get they if they don't get a deep threat, it's going to be the same Rams team next year because they don't have nobody to stretch the field. You think you Rob, got, uh, that's what I'm saying, dude? I feel like number one for you is Will Fuller, AJ Green, Will Fuller. Will Fuller's got to be number one. On uh, I don't board. think they can afford Allen. Yeah, Robinson. but Goff doesn't really take those deep shots. No, know. I'm saying the Rams. No, the Stafford no, but, will. Yeah, Goff didn't. It, but so that's what I'm saying. Stafford, Stafford could take those deep could, shots now, but he doesn't have somebody. the weapon. You gotta find. Yeah. I don't think. Right. He has I don't weapon. think the Rams are done though. I think they're going to go get somebody. Yeah, and I mean, where did they pick in the draft? Who the Rams? Top twelve. The Rams? No, I mean the they just oh, no, they, no, they all, traded. They don't have a first sister. They, they traded the picks. next two. Oh, they don't have any. <laughs> they have Donnie the picks forever. That's right. They traded all those for Rams. I don't know. They need to go get a wide receiver for, for agency. All for a Super Bowl. Then they didn't win. <laughs> Tom Brady took them down. That was after. Well, the, the golf picks, and then they traded for Ramsey. Yeah. Now they traded for. They're not. They don't care about. Pick. I do agree. The picks are overrated. But anyway, they trade the first rounder for enough. proven players, and that works. We'll see what happens. I think Belichick the Lions. The same thing. I don't think the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl. I, I have them nine and seven next year, ten and six, just because of the division they're in. Forty the ers are going to be back. Seattle somehow yeah, just keeps winning. You guys, you get out there with Kirk Cousins throwing in the ball. Dude. I'll freak out. I don't understand how <laughs> it's Seattle. Coming. It's coming. And then you got Arizona's no pushover. They're improving. They could take a step back, but I don't see that. I think Kyler's. Wow. You hate Kyler Murray, but I don't hate Kyler Murray. I just think that what they lose seven out of eight. Yeah, it's a rough, rough ending for yeah. sure. <laughs> it's a rough see. ending. Well, unless That's they do, unless they do something time. in the uh, offseason, they're not getting. It's any Super Bowl week. Let's get off that. We'll revisit that and. 
August, July, whenever we get to it. But all right, let's get to the Super Bowl. Kansas City's minus three and a half, three depending on books. Uh, totals fifty six and a half. The disrespect I, for Tom Brady, dude. Right, first time underdog. First time underdog since his first Jesus, one against the Rams. Did you know he's fourteen and a half point dog against the Rams and w- in Super Bowl? One. No way. I wish I was betting. I was <laughs> right and one. seventeen. That was, didn't that one he won? He didn't even throw a touchdown. I don't know. Yeah, he threw for like two hundred and fifty-five yards in a pick. They won the Super Bowl. Defense shut him down. He's a goat. Yeah, dude, don't even all Brady, shut right? up, dude. It's all Brady. <laughs> all right, what's the, so all what's Brady. the key? So I he mean, changes the that whole, leadership, bro. He changes the whole the aura. He plays defense. Defense starts showing up, dude. He walks into the room and people play better. Right. Yep. So that's a fact. I don't care what anybody says. He so goes to Tampa and every every professional team in Tampa got to to the right. t- championship game. All right, let's sport. just break this down by like uh, side of the ball, I guess. Chiefs offense. What do they have? What if the Chiefs are going to win? What do they do? Got to have the big play. You have. That's the Chiefs offense. The big play. Right. It's the they the got touch. home run hitters every everywhere, time though. you th- every time home you run think. hitters everywhere. Yep. They every got time. Kelsey. They got Hill. Every time you think you, every Hardman, time you think you got him in Hardman, third down yeah. and long, and you're going to get him off the field, they hit. A, they always find a way to hit. The I just like the aggressive when watching them. It's like third and twenty seven. Yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're not you're, running a screen. They're throwing a. They're going to seam route to Kelsey right. for twenty. And you're watching because right. you know there's a chance they're picking it up. Yeah, no, it's you're wild. watching. Right. Yeah. Every other team, I'm like, ah, I run just it and watched, kick it. I just yeah. rewatched the Bucks and Chiefs game from Week Twelve, and it was the last three quarters is a different game. Well, no, I'm just talking about specifically the Chiefs. It was third and twenty seven. Yep, and they didn't run a screen. They didn't run a no. draw. They it's dropped back and threw a seam route to Pringle twenty four to Pringle. Yep, but the Bucks defender jumped up, made a great defensive yep. play. It was awesome. But the fact is, it was they were they weren't looking they to were punt the ball. Close to getting, yeah, they weren't looking to punt so it. So it's always exciting. Andy Reid's wild man. So big play. Obviously, get they need to get the big play. What do you think? Pete. No, I think uh, it's 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 a coin toss for me. I'm obviously I'm going for the Bucks. I think yeah. everybody in this room is going Absolutely. for the Bucks. But all these future tickets, I think tickets. Uh, it can either go. It's a coin toss. It can either go just off Chiefs, offense. Chiefs blow them out. Yeah, or it's going to be a battle and the Bucks win. I, I think, think the Bucks, I think the only the, re, the only way the Bucks take it is if it's you know a back and forth game and. Brady can put points on the board. Yeah, for the Chiefs' offense specifically, just don't let Tyreek Hill no, beat you. No, for the Chiefs, you got to get big third I'm down Chiefs stops. Offense specifically. That's what I'm saying. Don't third let Tyreek Hill beat you. How would the Chiefs' offense? Don't say, no, you saying, want Tyreek Hill to beat? That's you. the offense. Tyreek Hill's got to be the guy. <laughs> okay, for the Chiefs, for the Chiefs' offense, don't even try to run the ball. That's my my advice. They don't have to. Don't try. They, they might try. They shouldn't. No, they never try. try. All right. So Chiefs' defense, though, what do you think the Chiefs' defense has to do? I guess they're going all. This fool said, "Don't Chiefs they, offense. Don't let Tyree keep. He's on the Chiefs offense. I know. No, I'm saying that's the the Bucks just can't let Tyree kill beat him like he did in the first. <laughs> we'll quarter. get to Bucks right. defense in a minute. But you're jumping ahead of me. For they got to get so third, the Bucks offense. Like it's now so, we're going Chiefs defense. Chiefs defense. Yes. Got to get pressure on Brady. Yes. Everybody's tried this playoffs. Yep. That's you my have to get well. pressure on Brady. That's the only way you're going to so slow him down. So what happened in the first game? If you have give him, you if Brady Brown? gets time, first half. If Brady yeah. gets time, he's going to eat the Chiefs defense alive. There's no way he's throwing three picks. I think he threw three picks. Chiefs defense two, gives two, up two forty picks? a week, dude. Two picks, both in the second. What's weird is he yeah. threw them both in the second half. Yeah, right. And they still almost. Came he's not doing that in the Super Bowl. One of them was thrown and it was off his own teammate's helmet, I think, and it popped straight up in the air. Yeah, he could throw. No, I I fully expect Brady to throw at least one interception. He's thrown. He's probably throwing. Prop I think he's that's throwing a prop bet. <laughs> so, uh, we'll throw, get to prop bets in a bit. If you're listening, that's a prop bet. It's pretty wild. It's, actually, yeah, we're going yeah, to talk about that. Yeah, pressure to defense, pressure, Brady. I see something in the Chiefs' defense. Against Buffalo, they kept showing how good the Chiefs' coverage was. and <sighs> The problem was every time they showed it, Josh Allen had a guy open. Just couldn't make the But throws. he wouldn't. Like It was third and two, and they had a guy run like a four-yard in route. Yeah. And instead of just taking that, he would try to extend the play and throw it on the field. And the Bills didn't run the ball with Josh Allen. The Bills can't run. They can't run the football. Josh game. Allen's big, no. biggest attribute yeah. to, to that offense is running this, football. This is true. He no, didn't run the ball saying, ever. I'm yeah. just saying Josh no, Allen. I agree with that, but they just can't run the football. Josh Allen misses they didn't throws try. that Brady's not. No, Brady's not. If Brady has time, he will eat the defense yeah. for the Chiefs alive. No, even if he doesn't. He'll read he, where the Brits is coming from and get rid of the ball. He can get rid of the ball. That's the he's throwing the four-yard He'll throw the four he route. He will. Allen was trying to do second and long. They'll watch the, on second and long plays, second and eight or more. The Bucks are going to take shots downfield. They will. They've done it all year. They're taking shots whenever. Scotty Miller, yeah. baby. <laughs> Scotty Miller. 
I just he's going to come out and prove Tyreek Hill, dude. Hey, I'm the speedster fast, around here. Fastest man on the field. That's Tyreek what he said. Tyreek Hill's faster. He's <laughs> no, playing. Dude, Scotty down, Miller's bro. playing. I just I went on a show Every yesterday. player in the NFL said Scotty Miller's got wheels. He does, but Tyreek Hill's faster. Scotty Miller's playing head games. So you know that. I love it. He's going to come out and hit a 75. They're going to try to throw a slant drive. to Tyreek Hill, and he's trying to. I like it. Oh, Scotty Miller first first drive hits a 75 no, yard bomb mine. for a touchdown. He's dude. in his head. Tyreek Hill's going to catch and run. Like I got to run straight down the field every time. I All love right. it. But stop slamming the beer on the damn okay. table. All right. <laughs> He's excited. It's Super Bowl. Maybe it's Super Bowl. You got me, I Come got on. two futures tickets for the Bucks over here, dude. <laughs> Come All on right. now. All right. Chiefs, uh, we already talked about Bucks offense. Um, take what the D gives you. I Bucks think de- I think the what, key to the game is Bucks defense. I think it's going to yeah, come down hundred percent. It's not think, Tom Brady. It's no. not Gronkowski. It's not no. Scotty Miller. Watch it's you got to stop it's Bucks that defense, that's Watch, it. dude. That's one of my dark horses. MVP Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh-huh. If this dude can get after Mahomes, pick up three sacks, it's it'll change the whole outlook of the football game. Tampa might win by thirty at that point. Stop, <laughs> dude. What if what 30? if Tampa what if Tampa wins by like forty? He just blows them out like fifty two I mean, to what ten. What is wrong with you? Like fifty two ten, and and Matthew Mahomes is so distraught he just retires after the game. Dude, you, <laughs> he just what retires. Are you Screw Brady the puts, contract. Puts Mahomes into retirement. <laughs> Since dude. I don't want the Royals anymore. You can have no, them. dude. What if he puts what if he puts him into retirement mode, dude? Oh man, so one of the one of the Chiefs <laughs> win by a hundred. No, dude, the Bucks might win by fifty two ten, dude. <laughs> Tom scores every every you. possession. Dude. I hope the craziest cool. part about this is Mahomes, you know, because he's the up and coming goat right now, yeah. the up and coming one. Who's it? Mahomes not ready to pass this course. So if Brady, if Brady wins, game. it's over. We're never going to have this conversation. Ever. Well, the trolls will still continue it. Be like, that's Brady, fine. They already came out and were like, oh, people are getting COVID. Brady's. I don't want to hear this oh, passing yes, of the torch no. nonsense either. There's no torch at the game. Brady's not. All right, done. No. Brady's All not passing that. What's the score? He's not even bringing the torch to the game. Who wins? What's the score? Who wins and what's the score? 35-24 Tampa. By 11. Oh, okay. What did you say? 35-24 Tampa. 35-24 Tampa. Yep. So you got Bucks in the over. Dang. Bucks over, baby. And I got the Bucks reverse. We're going to talk about the prop bets. Okay, yeah, we'll get to that. I like next. that. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, – I'm going to take 35-31. 35-31 Bucks. Yeah, Damn, Bucks. Let's go, baby Bucks. Bucks. Bucks scored thirty five. I, got, I think they games. win. I think that defense shows. I, up. I'm I'm locked in, but I know I have. I to think that defense. Back. I think that Bucks defense are winning the game. That's got two algorithms. He's ran them twelve times each. Yeah. Day. No, Bucks are winning. 20, they're reversing. It's 27-24 yeah. Bucks. Bucks in the under. The running game is huge. Tom Brady converts on third downs. Ronald Jones MVP. Ronald Jones. No, we got. We'll get the props in a minute. I got some MVPs for you, but I got. I just see. I ha, I have a. I know I have a ticket, so could I'm be a, a little biased. Though. I just think the the defense is playing so well. Nobody gave him a shot against Green Bay. Everybody said, oh. Dude, they said Aaron Rodgers to torch him. Uh, nobody gave him a shot against the Saints. They've lost twice, blown out both times. Brady can't beat the Saints. Brady in the Bucks, playoffs is a different animal. Bucks defense is the reason. This isn't going to be a Tom Brady game. If it is, great. If it's not, the defense is playing lights out right now. What if, it's, what if Tom Brady plays lights out and the defense plays lights out? Well, that is doesn't that, matter. Is that it, that 52-10 final? No, then no yeah. one's holding Could, the. If the Chiefs score be? ten points or less, Chad Henney's in the game. They're not holding <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Jason down, sorry. Pierre-Paul concusses Mahomes on the first drive. I don't know. All right, well, I don't know. That's it. So we all got bucks. Obviously, everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, you guys are homers." I, I don't. I called this. I said this exact How? matchup in November. You said she. You said Bucks and Steelers. Yeah. Stenson had Bucks and Steelers. I said Bucks beat the Chiefs. This Super Bowl, in we November. all picked the Bucks preseason to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had uh, Colts Bucks. I'm bo- I so had we Bucks win the Super Bowl the whole time. No, I didn't. I did not. I had Bucks. I had Bucks go. eleven five. But that's still good. on it. All right, let's get the prop bet. So Bucks are winning. By the way, everybody, put your money. Yeah, in. I might double <laughs> down on them. Fuck it. Don't ride that. All right, strength. prop bets. Here we go. We're going prop bets then snacks. Okay. Who? What's your first prop bet you got? Pull it up. I got to roll down. Do you have them in order? Or yeah. just five? No, no, no I got, no, I got mine in order. He doesn't need notes. Just do the first one. My first no. one is the... What's your favorite prop So the alternate line. We're not doing favorites right now. I'm it's just the alternate doing five. Line. Oh. So the Two alternate more. line, okay. there's a couple different ones, right? So my favorite one... This is going to be good. ...happens to be Bucks minus 10 and a half at <laughs> plus 550. <laughs> I knew it was going to be good. final score, baby, 35-24. Win by 11. Oh, I love it. Your alternate run line. This is great. Plus you get Buccaneers minus 10 and a half at plus 550. All right. There's Bucks alternate first. score. That's wild. I tried that with the Let's Bears. Let's go. So <laughs> I did that with the Bears and Saints. 
game. Mm-hmm. But I was getting be- – so Bears just could lose. I had Bears plus three and a half. Yeah. And it was like plus 280. But they got whacked, so yeah, it didn't yeah. work. But Let's I go. hope it happens. This is I think, dude, this That'd is going to be, be great. wild. I love it. All right, Pete, what's one of yours? Uh, the first one I got, uh, well, both teams lead in the first half. I got yes. It's plus 105. No, it's minus 125. I'm going with yes. I think they, I think the Chiefs kick a field goal and the Bucks score. Touchdown. Bucks touchdown. Yep. So either way, one, as long as both teams lead. Yep. All right. All right, my first one I'm going, uh, receiving the opening kickoff. The Chiefs in this bet is minus 130. Oh, this, is, this is a good You game. look this up. Do they defer every week? No, I didn't look it up. Oh, I'm I playing. like this one a lot. So though. Chiefs are minus one thirty. So you got to pay a little juice. Bucks are plus one ten. I'm taking the Chiefs. The Bucks will defer. You think? I think the well, if you go back to like the Patriots, they defer every time. Right. They always said Belichick does it. Is it uh, Belichick or, or is it Brady? Brady? Brady wants that ball to also, start the second half Chiefs, in, the, in the first half. If the Chiefs are, probably like they like to start fast, I would imagine. Yeah. I just think the Chiefs will get the ball either way. Whoever wins the coin toss, I think the Chiefs get the ball. Don't matter. So I'm paying the one. So are you more looking for Tom Brady to win? Who do I want the to coin win the toss? toss? Who do I want you to want win the, the toss? Bucks to win it? Right? You think, so the you're Bucks saying, are for sure deferring. You think the Bucks no are deferring? You think if the Chiefs win the toss, you think they're Brady, ball, yes. Brady likes to see the second half. Yeah, he Brady wants to know what he's come out and know I what he think, needs to do. Well, Belichick's uh, he does like the analytics thing over there. Belichick first because he wants the ball to end the first half. Yeah, Belichick's get it to start the second half. I'm just saying it. Belichick's whack. I don't think he's whack. No, he's definitely whack. He's not whack. He's what? What did he do before he had Cam Brady? Newton. What did he do before Brady? Doesn't matter. He got, fired from, he got fired from Cleveland. Everybody gets fired in Cleveland. I know. Yeah. Except fair. Kevin Fair advantage. Except no. Kevin Stefanski. Well, that guy's got him locked in over there. <laughs> Fucking Baker Mayfield. Yeah, all the back. Belichick anyway, prodigies are. It don't matter. How good was that? They, that Browns. The Browns yeah. Chiefs game. Let's exactly. Right. All Belichick's. Okay. What is right. the Browns are in a position to win that football game? But you're game. not saying Belichick's garbage. That's Belichick's that's whack. All of his prodigies no, suck. What's one thing that his no. prodigies don't have that Belichick had? Now he doesn't have, and now he's whack. No. Tom Brady no, had Cam Newton. If you said Josh one McDaniels, more Cam whoa, 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 whoa. Like nine starters on the Patriots opted out. I don't care that you no head coach is going to survive. Two. Losing nine starters five after, weeks before the after season starts. After two weeks, everybody was like, oh, the Patriots are for real. Remember Cam Newton was balling out of his mind? They said, oh, I told you. Fools, get out of here. Belichick's whack along with his prod. That's Mercedes a good go point, Pete. I'm glad you brought that up. All his prodigies suck. Yeah. You know whose prodigies yeah. don't suck? Andy Reid. <laughs> who's Andy Reid's prodigies? Andy Reid might be the best coach of all time. He's up there. Whoa. Except he's going to lose to Bruce Arians this week. Yeah, or, except Brady's AKA going to Tom Brady. Him. Tom Brady's the best coach of all time. Well, I mean, let's talk about Bruce Arians. Said, Bruce Arians said he lets Tom Brady coach. So Tom yeah, Brady's Tom, probably the greatest coach of all time. He is. That's a fact. All right. So we went off the, I went off yeah. the rails there. No, I like it. So, yeah. yes, I want if, Super Bowl. If baby, I had, on. On the, back to the prop bit. If I had to pick, I want the Bucks to win because Tom Brady's right. going to defer. Deferring. I like it. 100%. Oh, I love that. All right, go ahead, Bob. What's your next one? My next one. First play of the game results in a first down. You get it at plus 200. <laughs> Every, plus so, wait, 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 what is it? Go. Say that again. First play of the game. So the first offensive play <laughs> yeah. results in a first down. You get it at plus 200. Two to one? Yeah. Okay. So Chiefs get the ball. They're not going to run it. They're going to throw it. Chiefs don't throw it less than 10 yards ever. Let's go. Pick up the first down, then go three and out. Win our prop bet. Brady gets the ball back. <laughs> And then we're going to talk about who scores first. And then we're on to more props. I, like the whole, I can't wait for Super yes. Bowl in Vegas, dude. Wait till so I hit the bets. first three in a row, pass and be like, this is nuts. All right. <laughs> All right and then so. I'm going to kick his celery tray over to him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys are hating it's on the celery tray. All right, Pete, what's your next prop? Uh, so I got uh, Will Cameron Brait score a touchdown. Uh, plus 300 for a yes. Minus 360 for a no. I'm going, he had five targets last game. And a touchdown. And a touchdown. And a touchdown. <laughs> Come on, you got five targets, Cameron Bray. He's a touchdown and machine. And that's any time throughout any, the game. Just yeah. bet them all. Dude. Tom plus Brady's 300, like Oprah. Everybody plus 300, gets a I just touchdown. really like the odds on that one. That's I like Cameron good. Bray. Tom Brady's like Oprah, dude. Everybody gets a touchdown on my team. <laughs> exactly. All right, my next one is rushing yards. Team rushing yards right now. The Chiefs are minus 10.5, so you get a spread on this. You got Chiefs minus 10.5 rushing yards. Bucks are getting 10.5, and, and it's a minus 110 on each side. I'm taking the Bucks. 10.5 rushing yards and what? Team team rushing yards. You get a ten and a half spread. So the Chiefs have to outrush the Bucks by eleven yards. That's no way that's happening. The it Chiefs are going to run the ball. If they blow, if it's a blowout, Chiefs probably win that. Ronald Jones will outrush the whole Chiefs team. I don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's what. No, that's why I like the. I like the Bucks. I'm taking the Bucks oh, yeah, plus I'll, ten I'll, and a half. Right, so that's my. 
I found that prop. I'm taking that. I think um, Mahomes is obviously the advantage in that area because Brady's not getting outside and rushing, a, ripping off a 22 yarder. Oh, yeah, so he said that. He might. Yes, he is. He's not, dude. Yeah. Come, stop. He's ripping off what at least you, a dude. nine yarder because that's one of my prop nine bets. yards. He goes yeah. Daniel Jones, 45 to the house. Dude, it's Tom a Brady. half a yard. It's a half a yard for that prop bet. Do you Let's know how many, going going to do you know how many rushing yards he Hold on, we'll get to it in a second. Do you know how many no. rushing yards Tom Brady has this year? It doesn't matter. He's, 12? He has 36 one. carries for 14 yards. Well, they're all quarterback sneaks. He picks up two yards every time. There we go. 36 carries for 14 yards. All you don't he think he has, has one quarterback sneak? Yard. Do you hear what I'm saying? I get it. He averages less than a half a yard a carry. That's fine, dude. It probably results in 12 touches. He's averaging negative. He's aver- he's averaging negative yards per carry. That's fine. So you think he's going to rip off a nine-yarder? Yeah, he's got to get yeah. positive. Get out of here, dude. The, you gotta, the numbers got to change. I'm not saying he's not going to have a one-yard touchdown or a one-yard conversion. I hope he drops but back and peels off a 25 if you, I'll, bet, I'll bet you $500 right now. Mahomes has more rushing yards than Brady. Obviously. That's what I said. And you said, well, Brady's ripping off games. Yeah, I hope he does, dude. Get out of here. All right, but I'm still taking bucks with the rushing yards. All right, what's your next one, Bob? Total punts. I'm taking the over six and a half. I love this guy's props. Total, Total punts. punts. Over six and a half. Over? Yep. Over. Bucks D, baby. Going to force some, force some Mahomes off the field. Oh, seven punts. Total for both teams in yeah. the entire game? Yes. Wow. I'm surprised because you have them both scoring a lot of points. That's fine. Oh, no, you have you have Bucks fifty two to ten. Yeah, that's, no, I have thirty well, thirty five twenty four. But I love the fifty two. What's the odds on that? Plus one twenty. You're getting okay. You're getting, you're getting odds, money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take no negative. I didn't take. I'm taking plus money props yeah, every time. Same. All right, what do you who got? in the world oh, bets pays juice on props? Come on now. I just did. I know. Oh, I minus one thirty right. on the Chiefs. Uh, that's a good bet, though. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Receiving the. So I like this one. We got Chiefs first score will be a field goal or a touchdown. I took a field goal. It's that plus pay? plus one forty. Okay, I still like it. It's a uh, minus one sixty for a touchdown. Score? Their yeah. first score, not first drive, first score. The the team's first score. Okay, yeah, Harrison like Bucker. Yeah, I got it. Bucker is launching one for fifty five. Is that your next prop? No, no. <laughs> so we talked about launching. Of, yeah, no. I think the over under the longest is yeah, forty six. Forty six yeah. or something. Yeah. There's an alternate one for fifty four and a half. So, oh, okay, we well, get plus. All right, was Tom Brady will kick that one. Tom. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my third my third one. All right, here's another one. Either team. This is one of my favorite ones, actually. Either team will use all six timeouts in regulation. So each team gets three each half. Either team has to use all six. Has Under. that ever happened? Under. No, they're going to use all six. They're using all six. Oh, Super Bowl. All right. Do you so, think a defense is going to blow their last couple? Maybe at the end of the first half. Stop? Or, yeah, just to try to get a stop. Maybe Because both offenses are really uh, efficient. So, like, say oh. they backed up. If they use them all in the first half, they're probably. I mean, just, I'm getting a yeah. I'm taking yes that because there's challenges. If you lose a challenge, you lose a timeout. Yeah, that's true. So the that's challenges on top. come up yeah. big. And then uh, the towards the end, whoever's big. losing, even if you're winning, you might run the play clock down all the way down. We're in a timeout. timeout punt it. So I'm taking the yes. I'm getting plus one seventy five on that. That's uh, yeah. I don't know. I want to go back and good. look at a couple games. I like that. I don't know yeah. if anybody both teams ever burn them all in regulation. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the yes. Because, okay. I mean, e- either team – that means either team can use it. So even if the Chiefs win, they can burn them. Okay. But plus 175, I thought that okay. was an interesting interesting take there. All right. We got two okay. left each. What's your – My next one? one? Yep. Team with the last possession. Taking bucks at even money. Yeah. Tom Brady in the victory formation, baby. Shipping number seven home. Let's go. Mahomes on the sideline. Just so distraught <laughs> he's considering retirement. Just pouting. His old lady screaming. How many from the time, How many kneel? How many kneel downs does Tom Brady take? Three to end the game. So there's negative no. six yards right there. No, because this is my next prop. Just, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Screw that's you neg- guys. That's negative six he's yards. nailing this. If he no, rips you better off a nine, stop. If he's, he rips off a nine ripping, yarder, then yeah, negative, negative six, six and you're still. He, up. I'm telling you, he's going to scramble and he's going <laughs> to at least be in the positive. So all it is is a half, half a yard. We're willing what to sacrifice that though if it's victory for plus one ten, a half a yard. That's all I got to get. Tom Brady That's needs it. one That's yard rushing. That's it. That's a phenomenal bet. I love it. I like the bet. It's he just wants him to go. He just got to be in the positives. Hey, do you guys remember way yeah, back sound, when Peyton Manning ran the easy right? Do you remember when Peyton Absolutely. Manning? Absolutely. You guys remember Peyton Manning man the, ran the bootleg and not a single person was there, and he thought somebody was chasing him down, so yeah. he slid at the it was like one. Like six yards out. He slid. <laughs> the guy at the was at like the seven. <laughs> he he thought down. somebody was on his neck. They didn't want to get cussed. Not a single person around him. Oh, all right. No, I'm taking that all day. Yeah, I know. Those are wild. I'm trying to find all these when I'm out in Vegas because I want to have action the whole game. Of course, I'm at, we're action junkies there. Oh, I'm loading up the account. All right, when we get Bucks. There. My next one, my, my fourth one is Bucks' first reception of the game. I'm taking Antonio Brown. 
Okay. Seven to one on this bet. Boom. He's back from injury. I feel like yeah. they might try to get him involved early. Maybe a quick uh, hike screen to him. Get him, get him. Bust him out. Get him get going. Him going. Get him going. So Breaks seven, seven to one on this bet. Antonio Brown breaks A-B, it. AB first catch on the Bucks for a touchdown. No, just no, just the first, first reception. <laughs> but for a touchdown, I'm just saying. There you go. That's fine. I'll take it. I like that. It could be but MVP. Yeah, first bet seven to one. I was like, yeah, that's pretty right. not bad. And he's the one to probably run the screen pass if they do run one. Him right. or Godwin. Yeah, but I'm taking it. Seven to one. All right, Bob. Last one. <laughs> Pat's gonna go nuts right now. <laughs> Will there is an interception in the first quarter? Yes, pays plus two hundred. Ooh. Love it. Who's throwing it? Mahomes. <laughs> now, I'm gonna, this is why I'm betting this, because you cannot be as lucky as Mahomes has been all season. He literally set an oh, yeah, NFL you, record you about this. for dropped interceptions no. at 16. Luck is running out. I like it. Okay? It's, it's over. Winfield's First picking quarter. you off. What's it? Plus what? Plus 200. So I had this, I had this like vision earlier. I was on. I was on a show. Well, I had it yesterday. I was, on a, I was on a show. Had a dream. No, I was watching film. This is after. I was doing the a Buffalo film. Stu- I was doing a film study. <laughs> no, I was doing a film study on the Bucks. And uh, do you know the RPO they run? When yeah. They, and they this side's run blocking and this right. side's pass blocking. Yeah. And he pulls it and throws it immediately. Right. I feel like Devin White is going to jump in, in that. He's going to bait him into it and get a. Pick. He's going he's to see he's it. He's going to get a pick. I love it. And Mahomes going to force it in over the middle to Tyreek Hill on that little slant route. Devin White or Levante David is going to step in front of that. That's, that's all. Like, I feel like that's all. It was film close. study, dude. I, feel, I did I, a film study. It's he. They were close. Say last it out game. loud. Sportscast is I'm also doing right film studies yes, in it. case anybody. We, we, hey, we got a video guy. I did it today and yesterday. <laughs> we're, we're and I watched it, it, and it was close a lot of times, and it's been close. Those are probably a lot of the. I didn't watch all the games. That's probably a lot of the dropped um, ints interceptions linebackers. But I'll tell you what, Devin White can catch. Yep. Don't and Levante David, which is my next prop bet. Which I'll get to. I'll skip okay. you. Right that there. rookie? No, he's an older guy. No, no, I'm talking about the rookie on the Bucks. He didn't no, play Winfield? last week. He's back. Oh, baby. So my, my <laughs> last one is MVPs. I'm betting three defensive players on the Bucks to win MVP at 75 to 1, you 75 got to 1, there for sure. and 100 yeah. to 1. He's got JPP. He JPP, sure. Shaq Barrett, and Levante David. Levante David is. This is the guy I'm he could, predicting. He could be a guy that changes the I'm game. I'm telling you right Did now. A little research. He can change the game. Levante David is going to get a pick six. Ooh, there we go. On the slant. To Tyreek Hill to win an it. RPO option, not to win it. It's going to change the game. The and when R- it happens, it's going to be a fine Mahomes. It's going to be an RPO option, Reed. And uh, so we got first half or second half. He's going to bait. Second he's half. Second half. Second half. This is getting better. So early, uh, nah, I don't know. First quarter, baby. I don't know. <laughs> first quarter. First quarter. So <laughs> I'm going to say I might go. F- I don't know what half. I just think they're going to put uh, Devin White's going to be guarding Kelsey. They're going to do RPO, pull it, throw it, and Pick David's going to step in and house it. House. And when he when he when he starts housing at Winfield, find happen. Mahomes and just concuss him. My I'm mind's going to be second boom. half. If this happens, second half, MVP, Levante David, hundred to one. I'm about to put a hundred on that thing, dude. I'm about to retire. If you're eating celery sticks, that's what. Let's get doing. to this. Oh, what's your last prop bet? We're <laughs> oh, gonna I got one more. All right, so I got a parlay here. I absolutely freaking love this one. It's Patrick Mahomes over forty passing attempts and over. 26 and a half completions. Was it the last couple games? I think we looked at it. He's uh, nearing 38, 39, 37, 40. 49 yeah. in one game. Come on. That's all day. What are the odds on those ones? Uh, I didn't even because write you that. You won't be able, it's probably minus 110. You can't. Uh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was minus 110. I guarantee you can't parlay that, but you could bet them separate and probably win both. Right. So, no, that's not bad. Let's that's get a, this. That's a guaranteed winner. So, there's your prop bets. Let's did get I, did I do the Miller touchdown one? You have one more? Did I do the Miller touchdown one? No. No. Oh, yeah. Scotty Miller, first well, touchdown six. for cheating. the Bucks. First TD, Scotty Miller? Yeah. 40 to 1? <laughs> that's it. 25, that was, no, it's 25 to that's 1. That's your prop? No, oh, dude. Hit him deep oh, early. I love Tyree this. Kill's head. Tyree Kill's going to think he has to as fast as he can. Down first down. catch, Antonio Brown's second catch, Scotty Miller touchdown. touchdown. Over I mean, under six cashing. beers before then. Me? Yeah. Oh, that's before kickoff. You say six beers? Yeah. Before kickoff. Oh, that's he's a wrap. We're way over. <laughs> Game stuff till 3 30. Yeah. What do you mean? Full seven. All you can all drink. Right, over under 10. Dude, my dad. you guys, last time, me and Power, 8 30 in the morning, I was calling everybody. I was already at the venue, Mimosa I, Deep. No. Having fun, partying. Stop. Stinson didn't show up till 3 no. in the afternoon. First of all, I was, at, I was playing Ghostbusters slot machines and you were still in bed. No. Fact. I called you. I said, Where are you at? I'm playing no. Ghostbusters. I checked in. At, there to was the, the next to day. the league? Yeah, I told you where I was, and you're like, I'm at the bar, and I saw you. Oh, okay. Whatever. 
All right, now's the moment we've all been waiting for. I know the listeners have been waiting for this. We're welcoming in the regular season champion of father versus son Pickham, and we got my daughter in the house. Riot, what's up, dude? It's been a while. Hi, Dad. You ready for this? Yeah. It's the big game. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Vesper, you ready to pick? Are you going to compete next year in the regular season challenge? You don't know yet? All right, well, let's get to the picks, right? Since you uh, defeated me in, you know, the regular season, um, we're going to ask you, I'll ask you, you get four questions. Who's going to win the game, the over-under? You're going to call the coin toss and the over-under, the national anthem, okay? Okay. All right, first one. Who do you got winning this game, Bucks or Chiefs? Bucks. Bucks. All right, is there going to be over-under 56 and a half points? Under. Under? All right. I did not tell him to say any of this. He's just agreeing with me. All right. Uh, heads or tails? We're gonna, the, the coin toss at the begin, beginning of the game. Heads or tails? Which one's it going to land on? Heads. Okay. And then the last question. The national anthem. Is it going to take them over two minutes or under two minutes to sing the entire song? What? The national anthem. Um, you know that song? Mm-hmm. You stand up and they do the thing. You know what it is. Come on. Mm-hmm. Is it going to take two minutes or le- less than two minutes or more than two minutes? This is very important. Less than two minutes. You think it's going under? Okay. All right. Well, there's your champion giving out his four picks. All right. Let's get to the snack, the big oh, board of the snacks. Oh, baby. The best let's Super Bowl go. snacks. I'm fired up Who's going this. first? Go ahead, dude. Go, you get, go? Your, get your trash can Who list get out. This? Why are you mad about this? Because, dude, do I mean? can't yeah, stand you're it. You're going first. The number five best Super Bowl snack is celery and ranch. Number five? Yeah, top five. I don't and know why Super you Bowl go, snacks. Super, do you know this is like the biggest game of the year, right? Yeah, celery and, celery and ranch. You're bringing organic celery and fat-free Should, ranch well, to the never, party. I'm taking you your diet? tray out of your hand. Do you anybody, diet? Who said organic? I just, I'm I'd just assume, asking, are you on a I'd diet? Assume. Celery has a light, crisp flavor to it. It keeps you still hungry for later in the game. You don't want to come in and blow out your stomach with wings. You get a snack. It's a snack for a reason. Celery, dip in a ranch. Take a bite, enjoy the crisp taste. Yeah, and then you have to floss your teeth with all the no, little strings and the stop No, it. it's garbage. That's you just strange. wash it down with some Coors Light, and you're good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's still stuck in your teeth. Oh, this is only celery gets stuck in your teeth. No no other foods. Not like celery. Stop. I That's don't have the last thing. Pete always, made a valid point about that. That is always the last thing that is left. On the food tray. On the food the veggie tray. That's why I'm not bringing 1, the veggie 000. tray. I'm bringing a fucking celery tray. I'm and kicking there's gonna it be out of your hands. Hundred left. You you're gonna have so to. You guys put, just don't like celery. As Scotty Miller scores I'm the 75-yard sure touchdown, I'm gonna, I would I'm rather gonna have, I'm gonna grab the celery tray out of your hands and punt it into the roof. I'm just saying. I would it's rather a have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right, Bob? Yeah, that's that's Get way here, up, that's way above celery and ranch, dude. <laughs> no, the you tom- could have went veggie tray, and I gave it more. There's respect. so many other. No, things. the tomatoes are garbage. Tomatoes are way above celery. Uh, no, fresh. I'm taking all of those things. Tomatoes. I'm taking well, okay. pickles over first of celery. All, yeah. Pickles are bomb. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Pickles are bomb. <laughs> yeah, there but, we go, dude. <laughs> first of all, p- pickles aren't stock in a veggie tray. Neither are f- no. all. You said olives? Yeah, those olives, are, baby. Those aren't stock. No. It's celery, tomato, carrots. Oh, carrots above broccoli, celery for sure. I like cauliflower, but that's hit or miss. Broccoli above celery. Oh, broccoli don't get stuck in your teeth. Nah. <laughs> broccoli? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Celery and hey, we talk a broccoli. You come to my party. Broccoli, we're talking broccoli. <laughs> you come to my party and there's celery and ranch, right there. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hungry. I'm gonna be a lot of pissed off after, people. No, after the first quarter, I'm still hungry, ready for more snacks. You're gonna be chugging whatever your number five is, kind of full. Yeah, what's your number five? What's Bob? your number five? Go ahead. Oh, nachos. Coming in, hot. I, I would take Not, that number over five. celery sticks. Well, obviously, I'd take 47 other things over celery it's sticks. It's still too. light. It's got a crisp. Oh, yeah. You no, just oh, got a what you have plain what do you mean? It's not have, a meal. You're just argue. picking Let's at them. Try, picking got, at them. I'll talk about my nachos. You know what I'm saying? We're eight minutes into the first quarter. I'm still picking up my nachos, bro. Right. And I'm thinking, what's my next pick? You know what I'm saying? What am I hitting the buffet bar for next? Okay. Pat's over there. That's fair. Nachos are Pat's all... looking for hummus and we'll pita bread. I don't know. Hey, hummus <laughs> almost cracked it, dude. Hummus is fire. Oh, Garlic man. hummus? You know what Garlic saying? hummus? It's bomb. Go to Pita Fresh. It's the oh, jalapeno. No, pita dude. Fresh is fire. Though. The jalapeno hummus? Okay, what's oh, your what's No, your no so I got, uh, what do I got? Uh, and these are in hot, order, by the way. This is an artichoke spinach dip. Like so it's just chips it, and dip, basically. Yeah, is but it's artichoke. You can't miss with that. You can okay. put the bread. You can put the chips. Okay. What do you want? I like everything no, goes with the hot I artichoke dip. I put a lot. It's I put, I put a though. lot of thought into my my five, and I didn't. I liked spinach artichoke dip. It's way yeah. up there. 
but I didn't want to put two dips in my top five. Right. You know so I'm yeah, saying? I, I kind of I grouped them. We'll get to it. So yeah, right. spinach grouped them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a thousand percent. You good? Yeah. Okay. Do you want my number four? Or are we going reverse order Let's now? Hear it. Ch- wings. Four. It's my number four. The disrespect for wings <laughs> in this place is dis- chicken is wings is number four. That is wild. That's my number four. Like that's what kind of chicken wings though? That, that's all the of thing. them. I'll just uh, no, because well, first of all, bone, categories. I, I, only, Buffalo. I only like boneless. Oh, oh so you like chicken nuggets? This is why you're out. This is I don't you like chicken nuggets. Out. You're saying chicken nuggets <laughs> is four on your list. <laughs> I like boneless. Jesus, dude. I hate the bone nuggets. No. You gotta gnaw on them and fuck it. no. Get out of here. Yeah, you gotta eat like it's, a man. You gotta this work. How is that celery? You gotta put some work in, bro. Well, we're not all going to McDonald's getting chicken nuggets. That's not <laughs> chicken right. nuggets. Is this not is not the same. Celery is a boneless in wing five. is a chicken nugget. Go to Wingstop. They got boneless wings. Yeah, they're called chicken nuggets. No, they're fire. All the flavors you oh get. Oh my! Gosh. And then they gotta have blue cheese dip. <laughs> God, <laughs> those are so mad. We're, we're getting rid of the ranch. Blue cheese. I will promise we you right ate, now. <laughs> if we, we throw a Super Bowl ranch. party in the future, <laughs> Pat is absolutely not going anywhere near being no. in charge of snacks. <laughs> I won't even you. come. I won't show up if he's in charge of snacks. I'll throw <laughs> why, my own party. Why do you you don't like blue cheese? Ranch. Pal. Ranch is obviously with there. I like blue cheese. You got to have blue cheese. No, I the like ranch is gone. It's out. It's already gone. No, the ranch is gone from. No, the you ate sticks. it with all your celery sticks, you gotta dude. Go. <laughs> you ate it with so all now your celery. You so now we just got wings and no ranch. <laughs> right. Jesus. Bonus. Everybody that loves ranch is pissed know. off at Pat because he ate all the freaking celery dude, sticks. I'm on damn party. Got celery sticks. And then wings with uh, boneless wings with blue cheese. This guy's Fire him sitting up. Indian style by himself <laughs> with Fire a whole tray because nobody and nobody cares. Fire nobody up. wants. What's to your number four? Me? Sure. Number four. Pigs in a blanket. Oh, let's Coming go. In Who doesn't like those? Who doesn't Coming like in those? I know they're above celery like and ranch. No, they're good. Too much. Pigs bread. in a blanket. Coming in no, number four. They're good. All right. I just haven't had them since I was fucking four. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. What's the last time you've been doing <laughs> pigs in a blanket? I haven't had chicken nuggets since I was They're 10 in a Happy Meal either. Right. They sell boneless wings at every restaurant. They don't sell pigs in a blanket unless right. you're at Kids R Us and there's a food court. I don't know. That's why it's a Super Bowl. You've got to have When's those. the last time? Let me ask you this. When's the last Super Bowl party? Super Bowl. You did not last have pigs. Last time, yes. thousand percent. Who made them? My mom. I'm calling her tomorrow. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> they were I'm, there. I'm, not, I'm doing research. I'll call. I'll they call were there. Call. I guarantee they oh. were there. Picks they got blanket. toothpicks in them. Yeah, I was not watching. They the got Super toothpicks Bowl in them, dude. House. They got toothpicks in, the bl- in them. No, I'm not mad at picks in the blanket because they're fine. You're mad at celery and ranch. I'm just you're hating on boneless wings, but you're ripping. They're yeah, called they chicken nuggets. Quit calling wings, them that. Though. They're called chicken nuggets. No, they're not. Or chicken strips. What about chicken strips? Isn't that the same thing? No, they're Isn't that long like giant strips boneless of chicken. nuggets. Isn't that a b- giant boneless nugget? <laughs> yeah, if, what is a giant boneless? It's a giant boneless wing, dude. Kind of. Okay. Let me fire this So is up. a hamburger here. a meatball? What are we doing here? No, it's got bread. <laughs> a meatball? Bre- a meatball doesn't have bread. A hamburger has bread. No, a hamburger? Yeah, you eat you, it with no, bread. You could, no, you could get a wrap. Unless you're having a meatball oh, sandwich. Oh, you're having a meat patty? Is, <laughs> a hamburger requires bread, can. bro. Bro, it's, a, it's, it's not a, a hamburger until you put it together, damn, dog. Is a pig in a blanket a hot dog? It's called a patty, and when you put it together, it's called a hamburger. <laughs> What's a hot dog bun? Is it a, is a hot dog What's a sandwich? What's a hot dog bun is bread. It's a blanket. Oh, no, absolutely not. It's not wrapped all the way around. Well, it you does not circumference the get, whole hot dog. You yeah. Can, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. It does not cover the whole say, thing. Very good point. Okay, what's a quesadilla and a burrito the same damn thing? Not Absolutely no. not. A burrito has meat. Yeah. So does, are you a chicken well, quesadilla? Picture, what's yeah. in that? Meat? But it's flat. And cheese. Okay, this is dumb. And it's cut in you fours. A burrito is one what's piece. What's your next one, Pete? Oh, I got... Come on, coming in hot with little Smokies. Yeah, dude, that's my little three. Smokies, that's three on my list. Little Smokies at number four. Oh, sweet yeah. baby rays. Get you gotta have by. sweet. Shout out hey, to pull sweet out, baby hey, rays. Pull out that electric wife. Plug her in, dude. Get oh, those little Smokies go. going. Pot. You know what I'm saying, dude? Those are good. Crockpot's crock like those a wife. Salt. You plug it in, it does the cooking, dude. Exactly. You know little Smokies are good. Little Smokies. See those Smokies. That's three on my list. That I can buy. All right. Not the. No one has hot dogs in blanket. Little Smokies is three on my list. Smokies are bomb. My third one's a nacho bar. Oh, oh, you didn't rip me for nachos. I didn't rip you for nachos. I ripped you for what did you have? I'm having a full-on nacho bar. I got the onion. Yeah, well, obviously, you just go through it, build your nachos. No, mine's a nacho bar. Yours is nachos. Yeah, you build them. I have a full As bar of nachos. He got you. Because you can get all what sorts of What Super Bowl of parties have you been to where they have that? Last year. I, last James's year? house. We had a nacho bar. Fact. Really? Onions. 
Well, I figured he had everything. Pizza. That's a fire got the flame. Onion, uh, the it's green, a great the green job. onions. What a great you said onions. What a great the green onions. Not putting on my the green the green onions. You don't oh, put yeah. sprinkle those no, on there. Sour would, cream, fire. Yeah. No, no I onions would. whatsoever. Oh, all of a sudden nachos aren't good. <laughs> He's ripping his own. I said nachos. He's like nachos. <laughs> no, he suck. just wants nachos. plain. I like plain, nachos. You uh, get the meat, the guac, the sour cream, the cheese. Well, yeah, that's all on the bar as well. Jalapenos. Yeah, that's all. All of that's all the nacho bar. That's all the bar. You leave the onion at home. That's all the bar. Okay, go ahead. So oh, no, you my had, number three is Little Smokies. Yeah. Little Smokies. That's that three okay. on my list. The first double appearance. What was so, four? Uh, nachos and four? Yeah. Pigs in a blanket. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Who's three on yours, Pete? Oh, I got bacon wrapped jalapenos. All oh, day. dude. Yeah. Fire. Boom. You cannot go wrong with that. Nope. Those are It's got to be good. thick cut bacon, though. Yeah, you got to have them hot. Yeah. Oof. Half the jalapeno, dude. You got the half, too. Yeah. yeah. Not much to say about there. Yeah. It's a fire pick. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and swap my one and two right now. Oh. <laughs> my number one jalapeno poppers. That was That's number, one? number one. I'm gonna put that back at two because it's been mentioned. Right. You can do like obviously the thick bacon. You can do so many variations of this, so it's hard. You know, like that fire. Yeah. My aunt made uh, or my cousin. Do you remember the pretzel? Richard, I remember this. It was like a pretzel bottom with like jalapeno wrapped in. It was so jalapeno good. jalapeno popper dip. No, it was a bacon wrap. It was like a bacon wrapped jalapeno popper Pretzel? type thing. There's so many variations of jalapeno poppers. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Two. Bomb. That's number two. Jalapeno poppers. Okay. Any number variation. Th- All right. Just to- a, I like jalapeno poppers. Okay. Number two on my list: buffalo chicken dip, coming in hot. Oh yeah, gotta have it every Flames. Super Bowl. Flames. If you don't, your party sucks. Absolutely. That's what it is. I agree. I'll go. If uh, I come to your party and there's no buffalo chicken dip, I'll go home. That didn't make my top five, but it should <laughs> be there. I'm replacing. I'm now replacing artichoke dip. Yeah. Well, because that's that. what I was saying with the chips and dip. There's like that covers yeah. everything. Yeah. There's all the dips. Yeah. My buffalo chicken. If I come to your party and there's no buffalo chicken dip, I'll go home. No, you won't. I won't stay. <laughs> I'll go home. Right, that mean that party sucks. I wonder if home. I have yeah. celery and ranch and buffalo chicken dip. You're gonna then, eat? I'll, then I'll punch your celery tray into the roof and then I'll eat the buffalo chicken dip. All right. All right, number is you got number is this your number two now, Pete? Or is this your one? Are we on one uh, now? See. No, I you got left. barbecue pork sliders. At two? Yeah, at two. Sliders. Barbecue pork see, sliders. Me and you are on the same page. Sliders are sliders two? sliders yeah, get on the board. Yeah, I like sliders. Yeah. They don't have them in my top five, but I like sliders. I have no, my number one sliders. There we go. It was number two. What do you mean? There's so back to the variation. There's yeah. buffalo chicken. You can fill yourself pork, up on those. And that's the main course. That's why I said I eat a little bit of celery and ranch. Okay. And then top it off at the end with some sliders. So I feel like oh, you went from like light snacks yeah, and you're building snacks, up. And then you build up. All right. Tell you this. Okay. Bomb. We can get a little wings in there at four. Everybody, <laughs> this fool's guaranteed wings is his number <laughs> Absolutely. one. I got to Yeah. But you're too. Wings are, wings are my number one. Absolutely. Okay. Look at boneless, that. Let me explain right? boneless? this to you, Pat. Let me, let me talk Absolutely to you. not boneless. What is the deal with the bone? No let me boneless. Talk to you. Let me talk I feel to you, like I'm a kid. No, listen, listen. No, yeah, I got to be a man, so I'm drinking beer, and I got to... No chicken nuggets at the party, bro. We're getting bone-in wings. Okay? No flats, all drums. We're going hard. Let's go. Let me, yeah, let me, I agree. Let me break I'm down why wings are number page. one, okay? Yep. This is how it is. You think of NBA. LeBron James is the GOAT. Uh, you think of NFL. Tom Brady's the GOAT. You think of Super Bowl snacks? Unquestionable. Wings are the GOAT. Yeah. Well, no, they are Lock questionable. Well, that's why we're here. Right no, they're now. not questionable. It's number one on every every Just Super Bowl have, party has wings. Because two they're of you one. say it is. Every Super Bowl party has wings. Yeah. Have you that, ever been to a Super Bowl party without wings? The popular opinion says we're right. Wings. Number one everywhere. Lock it on the big board. It's in, dude. Why not? Bon- why, why is boneless such a, a sin? Those are chicken nuggets. Yeah. No, but for real. That's not real. I don't eat What's like wings? the real problem? I just don't like boneless wings because they're just chicken nuggets. No, that's not a real answer. Like that's what you, they are. are. Yeah, what did you do? Cut up a chicken breast and then fry it? No, like, I'm just try- wing, no. Bro. Like, give me a real reason why that's bad. You just bite into you, it. I want to pick it up with like, wings. Imagine, if you, okay, this is why, imagine this is why. if you had a damn hamburger okay, and you had nuggets? to bite around a bone. Okay, check it out. This is like, why. why it's different meat, bro. <laughs> boneless nuggets are chicken oh, breasts. You get what I'm saying? Right. Boneless nuggets are chicken breasts. Wings are not chicken. No, I, breasts, underst- bro. I understand that. Different type. They of taste meat. the exact same. No, dude, different type. But of meat. except, I don't have to worry about a damn bone. Like you know what I mean? Like imagine eating a hamburger and there's a bone. Is in it the middle. too much work to eat a wing? With no, a bone man, in it? this is a serious question. I imagine just, a hamburger and you had to eat around the entire thing, and then you get shit all in your hands. That's not a fair evaluation. Why? No, absolutely like not. No. That's and why that, they come with wet wipes, dude. Clean yourself up. <laughs> Go get your <laughs> right. celery off That's the tray. That's dumb shit. No, exactly. That's stupid. Come with wet wipes. And what's left? Is the celery? That's it. What? 
on your buffalo wing tray. The oh, I eat those. And I'm upset oh, because man. now I don't 100%. have percent. And I'm pissed. On the side. I eat that shit <laughs> yeah, first. No, that's a le- no, that's you are wings that comes with two sides of two little celery yeah. sticks. Those yeah. are gone immediately. Absolutely, maybe one or two. Hey, I tell wings. I tell Wingstop, no celery, all carrots, <laughs> every time. <laughs> Whatever. All right, there's the snacks, dude. I want to hear everybody else's snacks. I want to hear their take on my snacks. I, I don't know why the hate on the celery. I don't know why the hate on the boneless wings. I love boneless wings because you don't have to worry about a bone. And you don't have to shit all over your hands because you can actually, you know what you can do? Pick them up with a toothpick? You can stab with a fork and just a bite. A Kind of like a oh, toothpick. little chicken poppers. See ya. Yeah, no, do that with the little smokies in the, no. in the pigs. I'm in the not blanket, with that. Dude. All right, sorry, let's get, okay, now we're, let's get to, uh, we got a little bit left. Oh, this is a long episode, but check this it out. be good. We got to talk about Daddy Carlos and King James. Daddy. I want to get you guys. I didn't see the post game. We were talking a little off the air. You uh, talked about you don't the reason that you don't like King James's. I don't. Want, I'm not going to call him King James. Politically correct. Like I want to know how he really feels. Okay. That's not. Did you see the post game? He doesn't feel that way. Does he? He doesn't. I don't think no. he cares. He was about going the after. No, he was going after these people. These these. So this dude and LeBron have a history. This okay. guy's he's been 15 seasons straight front row season ticket holder at Hawks games. All right. How many times has LeBron absolutely destroyed the Hawks in the playoffs? 15 straight years? This guy hates the LeBron Hawks weren't James. even in the playoffs. They, what do you mean? Al Horford, Joe Johnson, all these guys are in the playoffs in the East every year. All right. They couldn't ever win it because LeBron James was there. This guy hates LeBron James. I get it. He's got to stop being so PC. This Tell is, me how you this really is the feel. O- the only Tell me reason, how you really feel. Okay, this is the only reason this was, is a story. If that was Jimmy Butler okay, listen. or anybody else, he's going to tell you how he feels. Okay, the I only feel like reason, he's so political. The only reason this is a story is because the limited fans in the arena. Sure. That's why this guy could actually get his voice loud enough for LeBron James to hear. Okay. Oh, you, were saying, you were saying after the fact. I didn't see the post game yeah, with LeBron. The I woke up today what, dying laughing the, on LeBron Twitter. said they yeah. shouldn't have kicked him out. That wasn't his intention. Right. I don't believe that he believes that, though. Right. You That's, think LeBron wanted him gone? Yeah. He, this happened three nights ago. Anthony Davis talked about it. He said a fan heckled him, and it all it did was I win think, the game uh, no, for the but, Lakers because so he went out in the fourth no, quarter and torched thing, So you, This is what I got from it. So Daddy Carlos, or whatever the damn name is, I saw the thing. It's He's been doing this for five, six years. Fifteen. I mean, I saw it. So the last post I saw yeah. was 2016 on his Instagram page. I tried to follow him today, and it, it was... He was uh, blocking people. Yeah. So I bet he was. So he looks like he looks like a wish version of Vin Diesel. No, do you know what's funny? If you would have told no, if, if you no. if you'd have texted me yesterday and been like, "Hey, there's a guy named Daddy Carlos. He's 55. He's dating a young blonde girl. She's draw, 25. Draw a picture of yeah. no. He's like 55. Or quote unquote 25. She's 25. Draw, draw me. A, she draw looks me. A, like she's freaking 55. She looks 40 because she's on the same steroids Daddy Carlos is on. Draw me a picture of a guy named Daddy Carlos. That's he's got the a guy mustache. with a drawn. He's got a mustache 100% <laughs> like, okay. of the time. He's got all his bracelets on. He's all roided out. I he mean, looks LeBron's, like he's he straight like out of 2016. Knockoff, knockoff Sylvester Stallone. I thought he stepped off a cigarette right, boat in Miami. That's what out. he looked like. No, so you say he, this guy's been after LeBron for a while. He's they've always posted about had it. Yes. issues. So that's why I think now he finally is in an empty arena. He got his chance. He got his chance. Trying to get shine, his, he get his voice loud enough for LeBron. But shout to out yeah. to his girlfriend for sticking up for him. Hey, I think it's all. I think it's, it's, it's a all point by to get design. Attention. Social media, it's all by design. That's, that's not a rich. point to get attention. They, Dude, they yeah. dislike LeBron. They both, they both no, picked up fifty thousand followers on Instagram today. They yeah. dislike LeBron. They let it be that's known, fine. and he couldn't handle it. No, they so used he that had platform. To go after. No. They knew. They knew what they were doing. They used the platform. I agree with you. They both picked up fifty thousand plus. That's how you make money. But that okay. But that's not what their main motive was. What was their motive? They no, thought they were going to bother LeBron James? Sure, why not? LeBron not? James when goes home, go checks his game, checking account, and goes, yeah. You know what I hope LeBron no, I does? Think, I think this is I a hope good LeBron goes and buys. Clout. They weren't clout chasers. But dude, I hope LeBron goes no. and buys the distribution company this dude works for because he sells wine and then just fires him. No. Just to make a point. Chasers. Yeah, they Everybody are. No. is this Absolutely. World. What do no. you see 55 dressing like he's, he's 25 He's got enough for? money. What, what, what do you think he's What does he need clout for? He don't have nothing. Because they're greedy. They want more money. This is how you make money in this world. It's like crazy. You say crazy shit and you get a ten. They got like he said. He gave I. E. Perfect grand. example. Jake Paul. No, I think I think no. to an extent. The, this guy's he could he doesn't give two shits about LeBron. Yeah, he does. No, that's why he's been arguing with her for fifteen Absolutely fucking years. Absolutely not. Yeah, he does. No, he probably got a LeBron this, James jersey in his closet. I, I guarantee it. I think that guy really like. Wanted the attention. I don't know if he wanted this much attention. He probably played. His he probably played. His wife or whatever got more attention than he did. By she's design. The one that, she's the by one design. That was yeah, because she's, she's a hot 25 blonde. and hot. He's yeah. 55 and about to die. 
<laughs> this is probably dude, some I mean, steroided out. Dude, his heart's about to give out. What do you What do you mean he didn't get enough? He was on every social. Me- well, he, she was. She was. She was. He was all over Twitter. Daddy Carlos was trending. And she called and another one. She called I feel, like, I feel like this is a normal interaction between players and fans, and it got blown up because there's no fans. In I the think, stands. but I think, but I yeah. think they were by design. I don't think they knew what they're. No, doing. I don't think. It was- but LeBron cannot just be all PC. Yeah, that's and post game shit. Like, come on, dude. I I can't. Stand I get it. people Wait. have bad day, but I get your point where he's like, just come out and say, dude, he was right. talking shit. I had a bad day, and I told him to shut the fuck up. Pretty much. He told him a lot more than that. Exactly. So he so told what? her a lot so, more than that too. So then he, he told her to shut the he fuck tames up and it sit down. down. For that, TV. What is that? I love Would that. you not? I'd say the same damn thing, like, dude. Like you don't, just because you buy that seat doesn't give you the right to talk. I mean, remember he told Josh Smith he was fat and he needed either a cheeseburger. I, I said eat another cheeseburger, fat kid, and he right. turned around, and looked dead, so looked me it. dead in my eye. I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> I roasted Hashim Thabit for oh four me and quarters. you, me and you yeah. at summer league. Yeah, it's I said, how are you seven four? And you can't was, make yeah. a layup, you bum. Yeah. That was also when there was three people in the crowd. No one, no social media. I mean, there was so that was kind of the beginning. Reggie of Miller beginning. also hates me, by the way. Reggie Miller, dude, <laughs> back in the day, Reggie Miller was giving Reggie? choke signs to Spike Lee, and that mm-hmm. wasn't, right. like, there's no, Reggie Miller cares? actually. Reggie Miller got mad at me, too, at the pack. Two, he pack didn't, two. no, he didn't care. Yeah, he looked. He oh, was you, mad. Now you're in Reggie Miller's head? Yeah, dude, I called Cheryl it. Miller at least six times. <laughs> he was got pissed. Damn, I don't dirt. know. I but said, I mean, Cheryl Miller's the, the best basketball player in the family, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I did Rich say that, so right in front of me. I like that, though. It's pretty funny. I said, Cheryl's got a 100-point game. Do you, bro? No. Bum. I don't know, but whatever. Daddy Carlos, shout out. All right, no. you, what do you so UFC fight nights this weekend? Do you have any picks? Uh, Over, Overeem is fighting uh, Volkov. I like Overeem plus one fifty five. Yeah, I think he's he's got one last run in him. He is said Vol- he came is out. Volkov, said he, the if he dude we saw at Stenson's house with the cool haircut. He's a big white no, guy. That's not the same. Big skinny dude. white guy. They all look the same. The cool haircut. No, yeah. he's not. What's no, his this haircut? guy had like a wild haircut. No, 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 no. Jury, this guy, like that's Jury Pro Shaka. That's, that's Pro Shaka. Scary guy. Maybe like, this guy's just a big, around. tall, skinny white dude. Oh, just he looks like a Rush uh, Bond villain. But he's like, he looks oh, like what? He looks like a James Bond villain. Who's that? Yeah, James Bond. You know who James Bond is? Double O Seven. Oh, James Bond villain. villain. Yeah, yeah, okay. he looks like yeah. He looks like James Bond. Like a, yeah, like I thought that was the like guy, a last no, name. James big, Bond villain. Remember Derek? <laughs> oh, that was James the name. Bond villain. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Black like Beast? Coffee is. You know Derek Lewis <laughs> knocked him out with like two seconds left. <laughs> like a it sounds like a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> James Bond villain. <laughs> Give me a venti, James Bond villain. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Venti. Right. So yeah, venti. there's that. Then there's the who fights bare knuckle for fun. Dude, that's I love crazy. It. I love, you it. love it. That's insane to me. Paige Van Zandt's fighting this, this weekend, thing, dude. If you are like you really enjoy watching MMA, it's the most exciting MMA yeah. on the planet. How they don't but sell not, twenty million pay per views is crazy. Because it's not like it's exciting, bro. But it's not Connor. It's not. It's, it's yeah, not they the, don't the names. They don't don't have they the UFC has Van a Zandt, monopoly right. over everybody. Well, now that so now you know they got I mean? Paige Van Zant fighting her it's, debut against Britton Hart, and yeah. I kind of want to watch it. Oh, I'm watching. And it for Chris sure. Lieben's fighting. That fool's a Chris crazy Lieben's a monster, motherfucker. but he's got no chin either. So, so I don't know. I'm not bare knucks. So Friday, Dude, that's Friday no night. No chin for the bare knucks. So Friday night's Paige Van Zant Hart bare knuckle fighting. Saturday's Lieben. that's exciting. Saturday afternoon, you got some UFC, and then obviously Lieben. Sunday Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl UFC's got to get Sunday. rid of the gloves. No, 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 no. Come don't on. change UFC. I don't want to die. You can't change UFC. Fire you know that up. You can't we change UFC because you think of MMA. It, people don't even call it MMA. They call it UFC. That's right. the, yeah, the, yeah. the casual fan doesn't call Facts. it MMA. They call it UFC. Yeah. So Bellator is like this triple A. It'll yeah. never get to UFC because Well, look at the champ. Chandler just UFC. talked about this on his interview with Tawani. He said there's no comparison. No. It's so not the even, amount of platform I got after one win. It's not even close. It's more than he had being 21-5 at Bellator. That's what I'm saying. It's, 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 they're, in, they're, they're a monopoly. They're a league of their own. Anyway. It's, people don't even talk, call it MMA. It's called All UFC. Right. So that's it with the UFC. Bare knuckle. I'm watching it. I'm going to watch it. Saturday, I'm, we'll be, I'll be getting to Vegas just in time to watch over here. There we go. Go check out my article at offtheballnetwork.com. Any closing, uh, any closing thoughts on Super Bowl week? I'm ready for it. Are we going to get any scandals? Not really. I'm not, wait, you know, one thing I'm waiting good, for is there's, everybody's does locked the, down. Does the NFL right. just sweep under any COVID anything? Right. Yeah. Just sweep it under you the rug? Oh, for sure. That's already going on. They would, le- they would let Brady or Mahomes play with COVID. I hope they – I mean <laughs> – Oh, absolutely. They would let Brady or Mahomes play with COVID. They would, that would anything. instantly turn – like, obviously, if Mahomes gets COVID or not. If, if he got it, the Chiefs wouldn't even put the – they wouldn't even report it. 
Oh, it'd be the worst scam. Like Brady, they'd be like, "Oh, Brady won another Super Bowl for free." But he didn't win it. But, but no, play? what's crazy is the. Uh, so did you hear the Chiefs are flying into? It's the we day didn't before. mention this. It's in Tampa. Well, yeah, it's yeah. a home game. Damn, home the game. Chiefs don't get there till the day before, like two two o'clock Saturday day, yeah. or five thirty Saturday. They're not allowed to. So We're like, if, if it, Tampa wasn't playing wow. in Tampa, if it was a different team, they wouldn't be allowed to fly until two Saturday. Wow. Tom's over That's there crazy. already already on the field. Right. Throwing touchdowns, dude. He's going to be up 21 0 before we kick off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, next week, we 52 got 10. 52 right. 10, baby. Let's go. All right. Next week, we will be discussing all. We'll cover all the prop bets. I wrote them all down. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the Super Bowl. We'll talk about legacy with Mahomes and all that. We'll Andy, talk about if Andy, Pat's celery tray was a the hit cheap, at the party the or cheap. not. <laughs> we'll talk about celery tray. Uh, if uh, Andy Reid wins another Super Bowl, he's going to be up. For conversation, for yeah, a he'll go. be he'll be up for. I uh, think he's up there in the top. He'll be getting death threats from Philly fans for not being able to get it done in Philly. He got to the Super Bowl, <laughs> in Philly, right? Yeah, couldn't win it. But yeah, we'll, get, we'll talk about that. On cheeseburgers and not offense. We got that, and then we got next weekend's the big sliders. U- UFC, uh, UFC two fifty. Andy Reid killed a whole slider cherry by himself. Loves. Facts. I can't, dude. <laughs> All right, that's it. I can't. We'll can't. see you next week. <laughs>